Hey guys, welcome back to our Let's Play in, uh... In, uh... Green Slate Christmas of Darkness. Yes, where... We... Oh, sweet. So, yeah. I completely forgot about this. Empty. Nothing. Oh, right. So... As we can see here, let's move on. Oh, the game is gonna save right there. Bandits. Hmm. Let's, uh -huh. Bandages. Torpor brand sloth oil. Makes the enemy slower. Okay. A truly complete diet always includes fresh seasonal fruits. Yeah. We should collect some from that nearby tree. Yeah, I, I really don't want to. Damn it. Place your pointer over an object you'd like to acquire, and then click to obtain it. Uh, I don't want to. Oh, damn it. Cast. Double mild weak spots. Can't go that way. So, more robots. Beware! Throw the distraction fruit. Huh. Okay. Now this will not. We leveled up! Yay! New attack. Cool. You are progressing even faster than I thought possible. Will it be fast enough, I wonder? Mm. As you gain experience defeating enemies, your power grows. Already you have earned a potent new ability. And I have faith you'll soon have an opportunity to use it. Awesome. Um... Sweet! Conceptual art. Bandages. More bandages. You'll never have to worry about consumable items in this game because you can just leave an area and. Well, you can just leave an area and then come back. And all the things you smashed open will be fine. You know, they'll, they'll come back. No earthly mechanic could bring this thing back to life. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, 
Alright. This is how you get overkills in this game. Yeah! Overkill! Kills do more damage. I like how I can tell that at a distance. You know? Let's continue onward. Great way to just stock up on items. You just go from one screen, one screen to the next, and voila. Yeah, siege brand and armor eater. Yeah, but you have a m maximum inventory, I think. And I don't think there's a way to check. Or if there is, I've completely forgot. I don't really end up using It is they! The fellows who ran after that hulking contraption! What knowledge have they gleaned from that Great Depression? No doubt created by its gigantic foot module. Perhaps we should ask them. Go on, don't be shy. They seem nice. Well, that one seems nice. I can say that with certainty this is not a Yeti print. Are you here? No, so you don't know. We saw what made this. We're chasing it seriously. Do you remember? It was five minutes ago. You have always underestimated the Yeti threat. And you guys are... And you guys are... Gabriel, do you remember what your job is? Yeah? What is your job? To punch devils. Do you see any devils? I don't know. Maybe. Do you? No. <laughs> then be quiet. Daddy is... Daddy's working. <laughs> What a couple of assholes. Okay, so you guys are assholes, I guess. Oh, hello. Sorry. Didn't see you there. <coughs> you're tracking... You're tracking a robot. You guys are following that thing? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Well, this is not an official case or anything. You might call it professional curiosity. Why? For murder reasons, mostly. I'd like to find out who made it so I can kill them. I th thought we saw you back there. Was that your mouth agape with terror? Gape? It means open. You know what else means open? Open. That's great. <laughs> I apologize. We have a unique working relationship. 
this is normal for you? <laughs> I see things like this a lot. Actually, for us, giant robots are fairly normal. That's our specialty. Lie in tracking down tainted artifacts and reporting entity and gods. Sometimes both. He's right. And those cases we do offer a discount. Who are you guys? Who are you guys? I'm Tycho Brahi. Brahi. And this is John Gabriel, the Startling Development Detective Agency. Here's my card. You have cards? I was thinking about getting some. I'm coming in. That robot wrecked my house. I want in. Well, if it's vengeance you crave, you're welcome to come along. We've got a spare room in the office. You sh should you need a robot-free place to rest your head. Come on, I th think I know where to start looking. Tycho MRS Brahi, new party member, founding member of the startling development development detective agencies. Agency. Gabe, you coming? What? Oh, yeah. G Jonathan, Jonathan Gabriel, party member. Everything was going great. That is, until he fought the devil. Unsporting conduct. Rapidly press the spacebar to fill Gabriel's meter before time expires. Once full, wait for the bar to pass over the target zone, and then tap, then tap the space bar. So basically, press, press, then tap, I believe is how it works. But we'll find out how it works soon enough. Haha! <laughs> This this means you can do a new uh, dual attack. Why do they always attack me? Okay, so it's... Damn it. Okay. Counter-attack! Damn it. Yeah, I can do things correctly. If you block correctly, you get a counter attack. Counter attack, which I really don't want to do. Oh, great bandages. Come on, guys, we have a giant robot to murder. Hey, sweet. Fireworks! An odd place to stir your fireworks. Then again. <laughs> Quickly! Okay. 
sweet. But, let's summon our little damn, little cat companion here. Sometimes, as I've said in the past, he is both the weakest. Get his special attack until much later. Yes. Time together is almost at an end. Yonk Bamoon. And you think I had such plans? Plans that would have taken the fall once our windsurfing was concluded? There is no time. I send a mewling babe to battle steel devils on the rain slick precipice of darkness. And there's the title. Okay. Well, I. Suppose it can't be helped. Let me leave you with this, at least. Your new friends have granted you a refuge in their supernatural agency. You may go there at any time by clicking the agency icon on your screen. From here, you may travel about the city, examine your inventory, and research the current case. You might start by selecting the map and visiting a young woman by the name of Anne Claire. Charming girl. And with that, I wish you luck. And faith. And time. I... don't really understand the logo. Which logo? Our company logo. I don't get it. What's not to get? Here. I can break it down. The startling development... I mean, that's the name of the agency. Uh, on there. Yeah, I'm curious... I'm, yeah, explain your logo thing. What's the meaning behind the symbol? I'm glad you asked. The gear symbolizes the irresponsible Farce of the modern world. The eye represents deep sight requiring to see through it. And uh, the lightning bolt symbolizes being awesome! <laughs> I'm curious about the title. So, you named it Startling Developments? Oh, I understand that part. 
It's because sometimes, you know, some shit happens, and all of a sudden you're like, Whoa! Yes, so I might have worded it differently, but I believe you captured the spirit. Wow, this is great. I've, I've really been enriched by this whole thing. Fantastic! Let us move on. Alright. I want to smash this. Nothing. It's just the police. Act cool. <laughs> Just, you know, raiding their stuff. You know, raiding the cops for gear and stuff. <laughs> Band-aids. And we leave for 19, 19 parts found. Let's go to the detective agency. Whoa, what the hell? Difficulty. Whoa! That's Jim. Don't worry about him. Inventory! Combat items. Three healing types. Three buff types. And two distraction types. Collectibles! I haven't gotten all the collectibles before. Bonus collectibles! Adventure items, back. Movies, the map. Music! Dossier. NPCs. Enemies. Fruit. Fucker. Mark 1. 2. Great. Case log. Up from the ashes. Name, vogue, location, Desperation Street. Back. I don't know what happens if you roll. When uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, have fun.